Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Tiff Benson here, and today is going to be all about red bottle fragrances. At the time that I'm filming this video, it is February 13th. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day, and I wanted to just, you know, be in the holiday spirit and share with you some of my red bottle fragrances that I am absolutely in love with and I would highly recommend to you. Leave a comment, let me know what your scent of the day. I haven't picked out my scent of the day. Again, I have several bottles here that I wanna share with you. I know you haven't seen me around lately and that's because I have been going super hard on Instagram. So when I am not here on YouTube, I'm almost always on Instagram. Make sure you follow your girl. And also I just posted a post on Instagram. It's all about fragrance, like it, read it. I am going to do a giveaway on this post and the way to enter the giveaway is by liking that post. So, so this video is going to be in no particular order. I'm just sharing my red bottle goodness with you and I have one red bottle newness. <clears throat> so maybe we should start there. This is brand new and exclusive to Sephora. It is by Gucci. It's called Gucci Bloom Ambrosia di Fiori. If you like Gucci Bloom, I think that you would like this as well. And I'm obsessed with the packaging. I think the bottle is stunning. Perhaps one of my favorite red bottle scents of all time. This is a mouche. It doesn't look red, but it actually is. Don't sleep on this dark red bottle. This is a gorgeous scent that just reminds me of my time when I was traveling abroad in Italy. This was the fragrance that I took with me and I wore and I loved. It has notes of lime, bergamot, pine, fragrant, frankincense. It's a beautiful incense, sort of musky floral scent that is really bewitching and I adore it. I adore this scent as well. <laughs> this is my, it's almost like a red fuchsia bottle, but this is definitely a red bottle fragrance that I would highly recommend. Probably all over all of the other scents that I'm going to recommend today because it is right on trend for Valentine's Day. This is Mancera's Roses and Chocolate and this scent is exactly that a bunch of roses and a lot of chocolate oh my god and something that i love about Mancera, their fragrances last forever they do a really good job of projecting and they smell amazing in the air these are compliment getting scents that will get you noticed definitely look into this scent roses and chocolate trust me you will not be disappointed if you're looking for your valentine's day red bottle fix. House of Siage number one. So I haven't talked about this fragrance in a long time because I am absolutely like almost done with it. This was made for, well, it's marketed towards men, but obviously fragrance is unisex, so anyone can wear it. This one has notes of mahogany woods, vanilla, um, cinnamon. It's spicy. It also has cedar wood in there. I love the little cap situation oh my god it's just a really wonderful scent um has a lot of sillage hence the name house of sillage i would recommend it for sure and it does come in a stunning one-of-a-kind red bottle i mean look at that <laughs> the red bottle scent smelled seen heard coveted around the world it is baccarat Rouge 540 by Maison Francis Curdichon. This scent is like, this is the, probably the most coveted scent in anyone's collection right now. It is so in vogue. Oh. Quick story about this scent. It took me a long time to jump on the, bag, the bandwagon for this particular fragrance. I always loved it. I always cherished it. And I don't know what took me so long. I guess when fragrances are trending, it kind of just makes me kind of shy away from the scent. But, but I still have it and that says something. This one has notes of jasmine, saffron, resin, cedar, master perfumer here, Francis Kirchon. I mean, I just can't say enough about this fragrance. I highly recommend it. I think every time I... um 
go to the Upper East Side. This is all I smell. Upper East Side in New York, above the 60s, is this gorgeous fragrance. Well worth it if you can afford the pricey price tag. Danger, stranger danger, danger. Whenever I think of danger, I think of mystical back in the day, right? Danger, <laughs> danger. Oh man, I wore this the other day and I was thinking like, what does this remind me of? Like, this is marketed towards men, <clears throat> but it, again, it's definitely unisex. This is a really full, big, ambitious vanilla, jasmine, and cedarwood scent. It's really fresh, it's really aromatic, and that's what I like about it because it has like that oriental vanillic thing happening and even like that floralness oh my god this might be my scent of the day y'all and i think that the bottle is gorgeous this is how you do a red bottle presentation i mean wow stunning next scent i have here is costume national intense so this is this was a limited edition bottle that i got Hmm, maybe two years ago um stunning presentation gorgeous red bottle and it also has a really gorgeous scent to go along with this one has notes of tuberose patchouli ylang ylang saffron i also believe jasmine is in there oh my god it's just a very full fragrance patchouli lovers will definitely adore this scent as it is very patchouli heavy if you love fragrances that make you stand out make you feel like you are one of a kind you're a niche lover of fragrance and you want and you want a niche styled patchouli which is what i meant to say um, something that smells a little bit more refined and is wearable but also makes an impact this is a fragrance I would totally recommend look at this beauty I mean wow another really gorgeous scent this one is from the house of Killian this is called rolling in love this was released last year in 2019 it is so 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 good this is probably one of my favorites from the house of killian they did a really good job with this release it has notes of almond milk um vanilla musk tonka bean it also has this um that amberette note in it that is just so soft and soothing and it makes you want to pick it up and wear it because it has like that likableness to it and i just Oh man, I love it. I'm going to spray it on just because this might not be my scent of the day, but I am going to spray it on. Creamy, vanillic, sweet, and just really stunning. This is a really stunning addition. I'm so glad that I have it in my collection and I highly recommend it, especially if you're trying to get yours on Valentine's Day. Okay. Another 2019 release in a red bottle is by Terry Mugler. This one is Alien Fusion. Master perfumer here, Dominique Ropion. If you don't know who that is, you need to Google him and see all the fabulous scents that he's created. So this one has notes of ginger, orange blossom, cinnamon. It has spiciness to it, white amber, and it also has like this spring summery vibe to me it's red hot as you can see if you love florals that are easy to wear charming um florals that make you want to come closer this is one that you definitely need to give a try next red bottle fragrance that i want to share with you is by giorgio armani it is C passione <laughs> working on my italian right <laughs> I think this is a beautiful fragrance. It's quite complex. It has notes of gin, um, pear, cedar, and vanilla. And this is a fragrance that I'm telling you when I wear this, it has a lot of sillage. People seem to like it. Um, one thing that I've noticed about Giorgio Armani fragrances, at least in my opinion, um, on the women's side, a lot of the fragrances kind of smell like makeup. They just remind me of like a really polished, beautiful woman who wears a full face of beautiful makeup and 
smells good. <laughs> so that's what this fragrance reminds me of and it comes in a gorgeous red bottle. So next fragrance up on the list is a beautiful scent that I, I mean, look at the bottle. That is a red bottle fragrance right there. It's by Bois 1920 and it's called Relativamente Rosso. I have my lovely friend, Brooklyn fragrance lover to thank for putting me onto this scent. He put it on me in a rush <laughs> as I was rushing to leave his house. He might've been kicking me out, I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, he sprayed this fragrance on me and I was like, wow, I need that. It's a woody patchouli vetiver scent that also has incense in there and a little bit of vanilla. It's rich, it's full, it's, Oh my God, you know, when it when you first spray it on, it's like one of those scents that you have to let it develop on the skin. I couldn't really appreciate it until the dry down. It's stunning, 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 stunning. And I'm so glad that I have it in my collection. And look at that redness, like that is full on red bottle vibes. <laughs> Oldie but goodie vibes, this is Gucci Rush. This is such an old fragrance. I believe it came out in 1999. Has notes of vanilla, freesia, patchouli, and vetiver. And it's called Rush because, oh gosh, so, so good. I remember wearing this um, to the clubs. Like I used to wear this out, out, out. <laughs> but um, I believe it's called Rush because it's supposed to give you like that rush of adrenaline. And um, some people say that it smelled like poppers from the 80s. I was born in the 80s, so I don't know what popper smells like, but I adore this scent, highly recommend it. It's quite affordable now, so you can find this pretty much anywhere and I love it. Love, love, love this scent. Two more scents to share with you and I wanted to bring this scent to the table because this is a new company, I believe, Ma Blonde at a Parfum. It's not quite a red bottle, but it does have that red label and just because I entered this one into the mix, you know, my Baccarat with the red la label. I figured, let me give this one a little bit of love. This one has notes of bergamot, tonka bean, honey, vanilla. It reminds me a lot of, hmm, let's see. If you like Angel, those rich sort of gourmandy scents, I believe you would definitely love this one it also has like an aquaticness to it too and i'm not sure why because it has like this rich marshmallowy ambery leathery thing going on but then sometimes i wear it and it smells like an aquatic -y scent it's it's strange but i do like it and i recommend it last red bottle that i want to mention on the list is by one of my favorite companies for perfume Parfum de Marly. This is called Kalan. So this fragrance has blood orange, black pepper, sandalwood, amber, moss, and tonka bean. And I really, I really like this scent. I really, really do. Plenty of people have said that this smells like this. Kalan smells like Baccarat. Um, in all honesty, I feel like this may have been inspired by it but i don't think that it smells like it's not a replica it's not a replica scent at all from the marley doesn't do replicas but was it inspired by it possibly totally different scents though this one is more fresher more spicier i actually think that this one has a little bit more sillage and the dry down is more woodier and um like woodier and fresher because it has like that blood orange note in it 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 feels a little bit more fresher and spicier so this is a solid release definitely give this one a try if you haven't done so already i'm curious to hear your thoughts in the comments so all of these fragrances are amazing so let's be clear they are all really lovely but if i had to recommend the three that you should definitely have in your collection for the day of Valentine's Day. Rolling in Love, You Need That in Your Life by Killian. 
Montserrat's Roses and Chocolate, and that good, good Baccarat 540. You need this in your life. So did you enjoy this video? Oh my God, if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, if it's your first time here, make sure to subscribe. Your girl loves fragrance. I love talking fragrance. I, I just, I, it's an obsession that I am kind of dealing with, except for the therapy that I get here when I post videos for you. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Like I said earlier, I will be doing a giveaway of some sort on that last post that I just posted on Instagram. So definitely like it. Um, what else? Let me know what video you want to see next from me. I am taking requests. So love you forever. Don't forget to watch what's up next and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.